imagine if I told you there was a place where there was an aquarium which actually catch and release. A place where you can catch many creatures from crabs to all over the place, shrimp and many other cool creatures. Today, our adventure is about going outside into a tide pool and collecting many cool creatures for the tide pool aquarium. And we'll be putting that into the beaver tail aquarium so we can show it to everybody else. Then they'll return to their home in the tide pools in the next few weeks. At the end of this video, there's a mystery friend we'll meet in the beaver tail aquarium. So watch to the end. With that out of the way, let's dive into the world of tide pools. The beaver tail aquarium is located in Rhode Island. It is a steep cliff. It's really steep, so I recommend you going with the museum guide rather than yourself. Our museum guide, Cameron, is the best. That's my opinion. Aaron, what kind of shrimp is this? These are European black shrimp. Wow, what's, what's special about these? They have their blue claws and blue tips. Oh my! Wow, that 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 looks fantastic. Oh wow! This guy's carrying some eggs. Okay. Aaron, did you just release those two shrimps? Yeah. These oh. that have these their eggs are starting to fall out. Oh yeah, so that's one wonderful thing to do, right? You gotta save these so that they can have the next generation. Oh, what's that, Aaron? That's another little European shrimp. Oh, another? Can I see it? Can we see it? Yeah, he's gonna jump as soon as Whoa. he gets to the end. Ow, ow, ow. Aaron? Oh, oh yeah! Did you just, just catch right in! Oh, right there! Oh, oh there he is. Oh, he he tried. Good catch, Aaron. Good catch. Oh, nice. <laughs> Want me to help? What is that you got there, Aaron? He's done his door crab. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, good catch. Oh, good catch. Oh, good catch. Oh, extremely caught it. Good handle there, mate. Alright. Sounds good. Take that. Mm. Whoa. I do not want to mess with that ball. <laughs> Here goes the tiniest crap of the day. His pinch doesn't even hurt. Ah! <laughs> I think he has to grab He's actually pretty strong. Small but mighty. There he goes. Let's bring him to the aquarium. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah. We can find out what a catch and release aquarium looks like. Whoa, see that building over there? Can you realize it's actually an aquarium? Well, I do. It's the Beaver Tail State Park Aquarium. And it is famously known that it's catch and release. Catch and release basically means you catch a creature, keep it for a while, and let it go straight back to where it is. Yay! This is my favorite type of equipment. Can we please um, basically put them in the tank with some water and some land so they can come up and breathe and go down the water? So we actually have tanks already set up for these creatures. So look over here. For the crabs that we have. Are those cone jellies? Up here, yeah, they are. What about they live in deep sea? Sometimes do. Sometimes live in the shallows. We've got two types that we have around here. One is called the sea walnut, and one is called the sea gooseberry. Uh, I don't like walnuts, so I probably don't like them. <laughs> so. Is that the thing for those shrimp crabs? Yeah, go on. You can put the crabs right in there. I'll be walking around, but yeah. Can I put this guy in? Yeah. Consider the handle grabs from basically the edge of their shell. So we need to break the ball in like this. That means like however the claw moves, can't, can't catch you. Unless you put your hand like this. Ow. Where? 
Oh, and another fact. Imagine the world without being clean. What was like? Very, very stinky. Did you know the shrimp are the best cleaners in the world? They don't even get tired. And shrimp's clean, but eating organic matter. Organic matter consists of plant matter and anything else that comes from the wild. Not this. This is plastic. This is organic matter. After all that tiling tide pooling, we met a founder in the Baby Tail Aquarium. Bam! That is great camouflage. I, I mean, look. Do you see it? I I can't, I can't see it, but I don't know about you. If you can see where he is, please comment below. He's so good at camouflaging. Like all I can see is his eyeballs. I'm having a scary contest with a clown you. Yeah, he's scaring. <laughs> I lost. Uh, I lost because fish don't blink. Most fish <laughs> don't. Whoa, and don't forget, if you come back in the next two months, you'll be able to see my collection. My collection consists of mussels, crabs, shrimp, and snails. And obviously some seaweed like it's everywhere everywhere i'm not kidding hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell button please do